giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Coming in at our 10th ranked team is going to be team 2200. From Burlington, Ontario, Canada, M.M. Robinson High School, it's M.M. Rambotic, 16-2 and two overall, with the winners of the Durham Column District event in Ontario. 2200 was the number one seed at the event, losing only two qualification matches and wasted little time in selecting Canadian Powerhouse 610. And the two, along with 4783, were able to go 6-0 and in the playoffs, playoffs to win the event. This was the first event win for uh, 2200 since, did they say 2200? 2200? I don't know. I don't know. That's what yeah, I was saying. 20, 2200 like, since 2012. And I feel like we've talked about them a lot. Um, so it's really an, an awesome uh, accomplishment for them. They definitely earned it, building quality robots year after year. So congrats to them again. And they'll compete again all the way in week six. Uh, so a lot of iteration ahead for Team 2200 uh, as they compete at the McMaster, McMaster University event. Um, and good luck to 2200. Very cool. Yeah, I mean, we're... Two two hundred. Two two hundred. Two two zero zero. Two thousand two hundred. If you say twenty two zero zero, please stay far away from me. Okay, well. Twenty two zero zero. I think you get some really unique, really unique ones. Well, you know, yeah. for different um, MCs and stuff. It's kind of it's really interesting, especially at the like the FLL level when there's like seven digits or something. Yeah. Team eighteen thousand four hundred and thirty two. <laughs> yeah. All right, All so right. Let's, move, let's keep moving uh, into our top 10 now, single digits, talking about Team 3847. Another top 25 staple we have um, from Houston, Texas, in the State Jesuit College Prep, it's Spectrum. Uh, they have an overall record of 16, 2, and 1, and they were the winners this past weekend at the El Paso District event. So Spectrum, as is, you know, as we just said, uh, is another team that is just consistent every year. Um, that consistency pays off and yet again did at the El Paso event. They finished third overall um, after uh, qualification matches, and they were selected to the number one alliance by Team 118. Um, got a little dicey kind of there at the end if you were watching with how seedings were going to work, um, either um, needing either kind of 118 or 38 to 47 to finish first. Um, that can be a story for another time, but um, Spectrum is a really nice looking robot. Is, they're just super quick, and when you watch them, they're really quick, really smooth when they drive around the field, and they just handle the field elements with ease, um, especially the cargo, watching them. So, well done, Spectrum, um, and good luck, uh, as they'll be also can, um, at the Greenville event um, um, later this year. So I think that's what, at least three teams that we talked about tonight that's going to be at Greenville, so that's shaping up to be um, quite, the, quite the event. <clears throat> so... Congrats to them, 38-47. All right, and they were our ninth-ranked team, and our eighth-ranked team is going to be team 15-19. From Milford, New Hampshire, it's Mechanical Mayhem, 17-1 overall, and with the winners of the Granite State District event. So 15-19 earned 73 district points in their dominating performance this past weekend. They were hot from the start, winning their first seven matches and earning an, ranking score of two point, an average ranking score of 2.91 to take the top spot by four ranking points, uh, which is a huge, a huge advantage, uh, as most of you know. So they teamed up with 5687 and rookie team 7416 to win the event. Uh, congrats again, team 1519, and you can catch them again in week six at the Pine Tree District event. But yeah, 1519, 17 and one, and they were just, Ooh. they crushed it. They yeah. knocked it out of the park. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, you can yeah. see from their ELO2 ranking, I mean, uh, yeah. obviously playing against tough teams going through. I mean, they beat 88, right, yeah. uh, in there and uh, partnered up with 5687. Yeah, absolutely awesome team from New England. And uh, New England really coming out, uh, hitting it just out of the park today on the top 25 with uh, just some awesome performances this past weekend. Yeah, for sure. All right, moving on along to our seventh ranked team going back to Canada to talk about 610. From North York, Ontario, Canada, and the Crescent School, it's the Crescent Coyotes. They have an overall record of 16-2, and two, and they were the winners of the Durham College District event. Um, so if you, first off, if you're not checking out Canada events on uh, the Blue Alliance game day, um, you're definitely missing out, um, especially Ontario ones and Montreal um, <laughs> theirs is just all just always off the hook it's really really great um but Justin and i have been to these events and they have some of the best run events that are out there top-notch volunteers at all levels super nice um and then that being said 610 is just having an unbelievable run these past few years they're not like 
always in that conversation. Like when you talk about powerhouse teams in Ontario with 11, 14 and 26, but you know, they really should be, and they're really showing that year in and year out here. So, um, um, each year they accomplish the game in such a unique way and a powerful way. They have a nice looking robot, a nice functioning robot. Um, and this year they have a, a great cargo mechanism when they have the hatch on there. It looks a little like wonky and wobbly, but, um, it's on there securely and, and easily delivered, um, to the shipper, to the rocket. Um, and they're very effective when they're placing them. They also have a really great, really fast Hab 3 climb as well. So another fantastic start, another fantastic year for the Crescent Coyotes, and I look forward to seeing um, their success continue here. And uh, <laughs> the chat is going nuts. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're saying 610, 610, 610. 612 was my favorite one. <laughs> we have talked about it, not for years, but it comes up frequently that we should do like – the first stereotypes kind of like do perfect does with like other things. And it would be things like this, like the MC that you know, like yeah. says teams wrong. And then you go to like the bomb, you know, the safety glass person that yells at everybody. And then, yeah, but this has always been an idea, but <laughs> we'll see who does it. <clears throat> All right. So that was seventh with six ten, And our sixth ring team is going to be team twenty nine ten. From Mill Creek, Washington, Henry M. Jackson High School, it's Jack in the Bot, 17-1 and one overall, and were the winners of the Mount Vernon District event in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Jack in the Bot was the top seed at their event, playing the hatch game well, leading the event in hatch scoring and hab climbing. We all know hab climbing made a huge difference uh, week one. This team, who we saw, first saw on premiere night, uh, has really built on their three-banner Einstein appearance uh, last year, and um, they started their 2019 campaign with another blue banner and look to build on that week three at the Sundome event. So, no, Tyler, you're a huge fan of Jack and the Bot. I am underrated. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I, I man, six. I don't know if it's because they're from PNW or what, but hey, man, you guys, uh, you got to check out the yeah. spot here. Now, I, I do question the, the long term viability of Jack and the Bot with their current strategy right now. So, I'll be interested to see how they. Uh, adjust over time, but man, this this week they just absolutely dominated, uh, and I was expecting to see them in the maybe I would put them, uh, I I think I would have put them one, but I'm surprised they weren't in the top three. Yeah. Uh, we have like chronically, chronically, Chron- I don't know. Um, PNW we feel like has always been a little underrepresented under rep- in our in top 25 historically like i feel like it's always been that way i think justin yeah uh, but the best way to fix that is just to really spread the word about us up there and um uh just get more teams to vote up there and i think we'll see that kind of shift but yeah, very cool I for jack in the been, bot you know yeah it was like skunk works held the banner for a while and then teams like mean machine and now jack in the bot you know they're starting to really uh gain some traction and some notoriety uh across frc so you know not to take some credit for that, but I think shows like this really help, uh, you know, kind of get that get that out there and bring some awareness to these teams because they certainly deserve it. Absolutely, for sure. So that that brings us to our top five break. I think we're gonna do the giveaway here, Tyler. Yep, we're gonna do these uh, just kind of roll pretty quick. So for the uh, t-shirt, uh, that is going to be going to uh, Carl M two three eight once again for the uh, awesome uh, uh, t-shirt and thanks again. Uh, to our friends at 4610 uh, for winning that. So, Carlin, make sure you shoot me your info. Uh, and then we're going to start our next giveaway. By the way, Carlin, this is a subscriber as well. So, yes, rigged, chat, rigged, lots rigged. of lots of rigged. Uh, and then uh, we'll start the uh, giveaway for the awesome uh, set of Bat Hawks. Uh, so, make sure you uh, check these out. You can pick them up at any mark. But once again, if you plan on being in the playoffs, you need to get a set of these. Uh, this and the battery beak are some of the best things you can have on your team uh, to just make sure that you're competition ready. So, uh, these are made, by the way, by an FRC team. Uh, so 1720 makes these, sells them on any mark. So uh, you're helping support an FRC team too if you if you pick up some of those. So if you don't win, uh, you can do that. And the uh, keyword for that giveaway, where am I at here? Is going to be Galaxy. Galaxy is going to be the keyword uh, supplied by 1720. So once again, Galaxy. That's going to be it. And oh, Mike, uh, that's you spelled got... weird. Well, that's how I saw right. it. Is that <laughs> how it is? Galaxy with an E. Okay, that's how it was provided to me, I think. So, oh, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> Galaxy. What is, hold what on, is I'm going to make sure. Galaxy? <laughs> Galaxy. All right. It was Galaxy, it's, yeah. It's, a, it's at this it, point. It, oh, no, no, giveaway. no, I mistyped it. It's my fault. All right, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm going to get a message from Sean. Like, I didn't type it that way. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's Galaxy with an A. I mistyped. 612. I, 
It's <laughs> six twelve. Yeah. It's, I was gonna say it's at that point in the giveaway where I just start like all capitalization. I gotta make sure I'm in there. That's probably why I win <laughs> Sorry, so often. You're not gonna take any chances. Mike. I do it with an A. I do it with an E. Lowercase G. Uppercase G. <laughs> So, Mike, uh, you've got you got a couple of clips for us this week. Yeah, you thanks talk? for – I know you're trying to push me, Tyler. So yep. Keep going. <laughs> yep. I'm just looking out for producer Nick here. All right. So, yeah, I know for sure. Um, so, um, going forward, we're going to include on our um, FRC Top 25 voting form, our Google form, we're going to include a spot for um, a Twitch clip uh link so as you're watching events during the week and like something funny happens something stupid happens um or just amazing whatever or amazing <laughs> i was running out of words <laughs> to say <laughs> or something amazing happens it could be any of them um just post them in there i'm gonna take a look at them um after voting closes and just kind of see um what it's about maybe we can include like a little box that says what it is too um but <clears throat> uh, we'll pick one or two of these or a few of these a week if there's some in the same category um and just show them and then, like i said some might be funny some might be stupid some might be amazing uh, it'll just kind of vary per per week but um we have that video here again it's not my best work but uh, just a quick little video of a couple of things that happened this week so here's this week's uh clip twitch clips of the week can't do that <laughs> there's a one yeah, there's a there's a couple there's a couple refs um that have like really like they're really dramatic when they when they ref hockey games and west macaulay and stuff. yeah you can't do that the player all right well, we, can't. we gotta go <laughs> just search west macaulay on youtube you'll see all yeah you yeah it'd be good. so so that'll be it um there's just a couple there so we'll have that um coming forward in the uh in the voting form so um as you or as you're watching just keep keep track of them or uh, maybe you know, and then submit them when you when you vote as well. So we'll have those going forward. Thanks. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com/forward/slash/first updates now.